tonight. From Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Jimmy Garoppolo and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the New York Jets and the Las Vegas Raiders. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. They'll have Jimmy G calling the shots. Grew up in the northern suburbs of Chicago, went to Eastern Illinois. Jimmy Garoppolo. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of the team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl round by Charles Davis. Jacob's going to try the middle. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Ten more there and another first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Wait. 
Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He finds his man, complete. It's Jacobs. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. On play action, now Garoppolo. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and 10 now from the 27. Garoppolo now. And that's complete to Adams. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 15-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider. Touchdown! Josh Jacobs, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Yeah, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Hardman, he is not going to bring this out, so they will start to drive at the 25. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by the former Cal Bear, Aaron Rodgers. There have been very few quarterbacks in the NFL who have been as consistent throughout their career as Aaron Rodgers. He's been good for so long. And we've seen no decline in his skills. His accuracy and arm strength continue to elevate the talent around him. And his in-game mistakes, few and far between. They'll start on the ground. Hall and a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. 
From the 27, Rodgers. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. Tackle on that play by Quinn and Williams. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. 56, Mike, 56, right there, right there. From the 40 now on second down, Garoppolo. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. John Franklin Myers, the one in there to drop him. And we all know how talented this guy is, who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can score against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. So the sack of Garoppolo. And now what can they come up with on third and long? He'll drop to throw. Looking deep for Adams. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Partner, I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. Here's the Raiders punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets will take over. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. You do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. Yeah. <laughs> nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes. No one over for pursuing and making a very nice play. On second and nine, Rodgers. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Rodgers going to throw. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group... They've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. 
Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Thirty-nine yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return, and they will take over first and ten. The Raiders heading out to take over. They've got a seven-nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and ten. Now Garoppolo. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And Garoppolo wisely, given his injury history, sliding to the ground there after picking up the first down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised than we just saw there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And he wisely will throw that one away. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Garoppolo. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Back to throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Jets are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And now out come the Jets. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's Rodgers. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense, though. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, it. I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and you give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that's where you should go with the football, and that's worked for the defense early in this game. And now he's got his first completion. Let's see if his confidence comes back, and he starts to get into a nice little groove. And he is going to have a Jets first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. 
Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told them, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Rodgers now on first down. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. They'll give to Hall. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So here's a first and ten now in Raider territory at the 47. On first down, right back to Hall. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Rodgers now to throw. And able to find Alan Lazard. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Now Rodgers. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 24-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now Rodgers. He finds Wilson. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. They'll run with Hall. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. As long as you've been the air attack, that's gotten him down here. But now's where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pick up there on first and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Ball again. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall taking it in from four yards out. And the Jets are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Did my eyes deceive me? Or was that an eye formation play that was just run there for a touchdown? A little old school eye. How about that? Was that a fullback, tailback, running it into the end zone? Well, that's what that fullback's for, right? That's why you use that. Let him pave the way. Oh, without a doubt. He's an extra blocker. He did his job well. On that play. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. 
A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover that plagued it on the last one. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. If we go back to the last series, remember their coverage allowed them to get a turnover in the last drive, a takeaway, and that helped contribute to a sack on this one. I think maybe his quarterback's a little bit hesitant. Last time he turned it over, now he his zone coverage a little bit slow to get rid of the football. After the sack, here's second and 11. Check, 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 check. Here's a handoff to Jacobs, and he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick, more than a space eater. He just made a great play there. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Garoppolo looks to throw. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. And that'll bring up fourth down on a big sack with a loss of five. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will find them. Las Vegas sending out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York set to take the field. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Straight ahead is Hall, and this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Thank <laughs> you. 
On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. There on the stop, it's Neil Farrell. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second and five now. Rodgers, that's complete right side to Lazard. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 27-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. All again on second down. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. To throw is Rodgers. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. So here's Greg Zerline now as he'll try for the field goal. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to seven. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. 
That's into a crowd and intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And the Jets will take over possession here up at the 44. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. On first down, Rodgers. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. They almost gave it right back to him there with another interception of their own. And to be honest, he probably should have caught that and picked it off. And he knows it, and he'll see it in film, and he'll see it in his dreams tonight when it's all said and done. But you almost felt like the excitement had been ramped up, and they were trying to get a big play right after that one. Hall ought to give up the middle. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Able to find Lazard. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. There's another example where defensive coaches constantly preach not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down and force a fourth. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football. It's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. First and ten, here's Rodgers. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the draw, it's Hall. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The Jets on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and six. And this is going to be incomplete. The defenders certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and that will keep this a three-point game. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game.
Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. To throw again on second down, Garoppolo. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. You you Rodgers now on first down. Open man here is Conklin. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. Now, coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there, and how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll run with Hall. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A third down gain of three yards and that'll be enough. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. to throw it's Rodgers it's a short one here complete to his tight end and he's brought down at the 34 call it a gain of four well the strategy was evident there get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback who's usually going to win that one the tight end but not there not in this situation how about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Here's a give to Hall. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 43 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. again and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22 yard line give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down that's a really nice tough run inside and they gained five yards on it and be frank about it most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that so when they do they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps they're starting to, think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Second down at five. Throwing is Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route 
definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Nicole Hardman, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. Throwing now is Rodgers. Being chased out left. Finding Lazard over towards the sideline. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They get 7 out of that, so they're left with a 3rd and 3. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And based on my math, They've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So here's Greg Zerline now as he'll try for the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Zerline's kick is up and through and the lead stretches to six here it's 13-7 well they already had the early lead and they get the interception Charles and now they add three more with the field goal yeah they're in control of how this game is playing out so far you mentioned the early lead now they're expanding on it getting plays on both sides of the ball a winning recipe if they can keep this up. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw taken in by Adams. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10 to throw. It's Garoppolo. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. He's going to float this one deep right side, and that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jacobs. 
And he is going to have the Raiders first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Touchdown, Raiders. Jacoby Myers as the first half is winding down. And the Raiders have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Carlson on for the PAT. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it was all capped off by Jacoby Myers on the touchdown reception. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now it's Rodgers. And with decent starting field position. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Yeah, he'll find Hall. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And, folks, this is a 67-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, BG. Thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has the look of a game that could very well go down to the wire. Just one point separating these two clubs at the break. But they're ready for the second half, and we are too. As we'll kick it right back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Let's go. Let's go, 
And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. But, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set them back on second. Well, they've got the lead, but it's certainly not a big one. And how do you keep control of that lead? Certainly not by that last play there. They gave up a big sack on the first play of this drive. Now it's double the distance to the first down marker. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. On second down, a run with Hall. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole, third and long. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And that is incomplete. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So possession goes over here on the punt. It's over, it's over, it's over. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. To throw is Garoppolo. He's got a man, it's his tight end, that's complete. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Here we go, here we go. Black 80! You can't block me. You can't block me. 56 to Mike, boys. 56. Garoppolo on first down. It's caught here by Adams. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count, and a five-yard penalty ensues. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He finds his man, complete. It's Jacobs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into, in this case, unsuccessfully. 
throwing is Garoppolo on third down. The open man here, Renfro. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. how many times we see it I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up but I always remember that when we go to practices we see that after practices as well they really tune it up don't they they tune it up they know how they do it for these situations first down and they build that trust and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation so the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10 Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. 41 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second and three from the 9. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Garoppolo now. Now he's forced out left. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Ah, oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here, give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. to throw Garoppolo steps away to his left and he's able to get it down to the two yard line he'll get three yards on the scramble there it's second down they come out with one back and three tight ends Jacobs trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. Jacobs again, and he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs with his second touchdown of the night as his guys are able to extend their lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Carlson now to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs.
On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Oh, he still makes a catch, even though it was tapped by the linebacker. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Guaranteed they've been talking a lot about, can we find something that will go our way? And that tip ball, that definitely just did. Well, and with this margin manageable, yeah, that gives them a little juice maybe on the tip. Yeah, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. That could help them get right back in it. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Rodgers going to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and six. A handoff for Hall. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 68 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 41. Here's Hall again. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Second and eight. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. On third down, here's... Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like... It's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Here's Rodgers to throw. Over the middle here to Wilson. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Here's second and five now from the 22. Now a play fake. Rodgers. 
Yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick, but instead it's third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Rodgers. He finds his man complete. That's Hall. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over the sidelines, and this one continues downfield. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Gets it to Hardman, a jet sweep. And power running here down to the six-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the six now on second and three. Looking to throw. Rodgers, touchdown Jets! Tyler Conklin from six yards away. And the Jets are back within a couple of the lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Robert Sala, one to take chances. His guys will go for two here. Rodgers will throw for it. And this will be incomplete. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, I keep coming back to, I don't like to chase a lot of points. Yeah. But I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because... A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. It's a big play there for Vegas. 58 yards. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. There's Garoppolo to throw. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. How about the way they the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Here's Jacobs. 
And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Garoppolo. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. <laughs> he definitely wants that one back. Garoppolo now on third and goal. And he's got Renfro in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. Touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Raiders will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Carlson on for the PAT. And that makes it a nine-point game. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it was Hunter Renfro who capped things off with a touchdown reception. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Rodgers. And oh, he coughed it up. And the Raiders pick it up. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Jacob's going to try the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I like the strategy. 
extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This is third and nine. And it's complete to Adams. He's gonna go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Garoppolo. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Open man right side, Myers. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Quinnen Williams able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to miss this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Garoppolo looks to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders have extended their lead to 15 now here in the fourth. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes could prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And New York set to take the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, and he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Rodgers now on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll give to Hall. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves them with a fourth down now. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they have to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Running straight ahead is Jacobs, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And that's complete to Adams. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. 
And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Forced out to his left. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. And the Raiders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. On play action, now Garoppolo. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Quincy Williams worked his way back for that sack. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But, Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. Here we go. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Back to throw here. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet and put on the baseball cap and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 29, Rodgers on the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. 
Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, Parker, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Now the Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Now Rodgers to try again after the pick six. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Max Crosby, his second sack of the night. Well, partner, you and I will be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's in game time, Someone's going to ask this quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. His whole day, it's been rough. Barring a miraculous comeback, this offense is going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. Throwing on second and long. Rodgers finds Lazard quickly on the slant. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. You blew the whistle. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely. And no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask. And that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. To throw is Rodgers. And it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Completes it to Hardman. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. To throw, it's Rodgers. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Max Crosby in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Unbelievable. Oh, a fourth down pass interference call. And everyone works hard on third down. That's usually the money down. Get off the field. It intensifies when it's a fourth down. You think you've got it done. You think you've completed the play. Instead, you see a flag. Pass interference gives them a new set of downs. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. 
throwing is Rodgers. And his throw here is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Now Rodgers. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. He gets it underneath to Hall, and they'll work this down inside the 30. Four yards remain for second down. Rodgers now to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. No, oh, are you serious? So they'll, of course, decline the pass interference there and wisely take the yardage. And I think defensively he's saying, I was getting away with that in the first half. Why are you making that call now? But to me, that one was pretty easy to see. I don't understand what he's upset about. I think it was the correct call. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Throwing now is Rodgers. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And the Jets are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for the contract. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Rodgers to throw once more. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow... Incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. On second and goal, Rodgers. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. And, Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, it's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And the lead is down to 24. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it ends with a Jet touchdown.
So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit, but as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. in primetime this offense they gave the nation quite a show putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them and Brandon I think it's as simple as this some players some teams they're just meant for the big stage and when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly they show up and they show out So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.
just win. Play hard. Try not to make mistakes. But don't worry about mistakes because there's only one thing that counts. Just win.